Today we're going to review part number 20545i-ez-72-15. This is the Dexter trailer axle with the straight easy lube spindles and the 5 on 4 and a half inch idler hubs. Now this axle is 72 inches long, has a 2200 pound weight capacity. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. You can use this to replace an axle on your trailer or to fabricate a suspension to fit your application. This is an idler axle, so that means there's no brake mounting flanges installed on it. It is made of a high strength steel. Now when we do ship this, so we include the spindle nut, the dewasher, and the nut retainer, one on each side. And also when we ship it, we actually, to show you how we protect it, we just don't ship it like that. We would actually, the machined area, we would cover with grease and then wrap it to protect it. And then we, we use this very strong, sturdy cardboard tube that would just slide over it and then we wrap it completely to protect both ends. One of these on each end. <clears throat> now it does also come with these cast iron idler hubs. These are very sturdy and durable. Comes with all the parts pictured here on top of the table. <clears throat> Basically it'll come with the bearings. Now for this part number, the bearing part number and size is the same for inner and outer. So it would be two inner bearings, two outer bearings. The races that the bearings would ride in are actually pre-installed in the hubs themselves. You can see the outer race is right there. The inner race is right there on both of these. <clears throat> also comes with the two double lip grease seals. Comes with two of the Easy Lube grease caps. And the reason I call these Easy Lube caps is because they would have, instead of a standard dome cap, they come with this that has a removable rubber plug on them. And the reason they have that is you can pull that out and access the grease zerk fitting on an Easy Lube spindle. And it also come with 10 of the half inch lug nuts. And the last thing that we send with it is the marine grade wheel bearing grease, a 14 ounce tube. So basically this is used to grease the Easy Lube axles. <clears throat> now this does require a grease gun that uses a 14 ounce, that will handle a 14 ounce tube. If you do, if you do not happen to have one of those, we also sell a grease gun as a related part on this product page. It's part number L30200. And you put the tube in there to grease your axle. <clears throat> now this is a straight Easy Lube spindle. There's no drop to it. Now on an Easy Lube spindle, they have a built-in grease zerk fitting on the very end for simple lubrication. Basically what's nice about the Easy Lube axles is you can install your bearings, your hub all together and then pump grease in, hook the grease gun to this fitting, pump it in there, it goes through the center, comes out of the hole right here, and it'll fill up the cavity and grease and lubes the bearings and everything. So once it's all installed, you can pump the grease into it. <clears throat> then if you need to grease it later on, it's just a matter of you don't have to disassemble the whole hub, take the bearings out, you can just pump grease in through that fitting on the very end. Very simple lubrication system. Also, every axle you might notice will have a bend near the center of the axle. They're manufactured that way to help create a certain camber angle. Basically having the center right a bit higher and the sides lower allows this axle to give just enough to compensate for the load of the trailer. So basically when you load down your trailer, it will push down on that and sort of even that axle out all the way across. And this will give you the correct angle of the wheels for your towing needs and allows your trailer tires to run along the pavement evenly and get full contact across the width of the tread of the tire. The result is you get excellent straight line acceleration for steady inline tracking. Now this axle also has the spring seats welded on underneath on the underside of the axle for mounting the leaf springs to. Now this would be considered a underslung design axle, which means they're underneath. So basically that'll give you a low ride height, makes it easier to load and unload your trailer. Now the spring seats and the spindles themselves are both welded onto the axle. Now on an axle, there are many ways you can measure the length of an axle beam, <clears throat> but we're going to talk about the two most accurate ways, which are the hub face to hub face and spring center to spring center lengths. Basically, hub face to hub face would get you the measurement of what we claim this, the axle measurement, the length of the axle is really the hub face to hub face. So once these hubs are installed, one on each end, if you measure from the base of one wheel stud on a hub, go all the way to the other side and measure to the base of this wheel stud on the other one. That'll get you your hub face to hub face measurement. So just to give you an idea, I don't have the hubs on, but just to give you an idea where, where they would be on this axle. 
would give you a overall length of 72 inches, hub face to hub face. The other accurate measurement is spring center to spring center, which is the center of the spring seat over here, over to the center of the spring seat on that end. <clears throat> that roughly gives you the width of your trailer. So this one would be 58 inches. So basically, if you are replacing your trailer's axle, you should be able to figure out which axle you need by using these measurements, using your trailer's weight capacity, the bolt pattern of your wheels on the trailer, and any brake type if brakes are being used on it. So to go over to specs on this part, again, the weight capacity on this axle is 2,200 pounds. The hub face to hub face length is 72 inches. The spring center to spring center length is 58 inches. <clears throat> now the tubing outer diameter on this axle is one and three quarter inches. Spindle size diameter is one and one sixteenth. Now on the idler hubs, the hub bolt pattern is five lugs, four and a half inch bolt pattern. Uses half inch diameter wheel studs. So you use the half inch lug nuts that are included to hold your wheel assembly to here. <clears throat> and the because of the hub flange diameter, which is the width or the diameter of this hub flange here is six and a half inches. It is required that this will fit the wheel size of 13 inches to 15 inches. But that should do it for the review on part number 20545I-EZ-72-15, the Dexter trailer axle with the straight easy lube spindles and the five on four and a half inch idler hubs.